Jay Z, Missy Elliott, Diddy, Busta Rhymes, all big stars who helped shape the evolution, shape the evolution of hip hop, which is celebrating its 50th anniversary oh, this God. week. Isn't that crazy? And not only has hip hop made a lasting impact on music and pop culture, but also fashion. And there was one woman behind many of the looks that are iconic today, costume designer June Ambrose. We're going to chat with June in just a moment. But first, check out her story. Jay-Z, Diddy, and Missy Elliott. When these rappers first hit the scene in the 1990s, they dominated sound waves and wowed audiences with stunning visuals in their music videos. And the mastermind behind their most memorable looks? Costume designer June Ambrose. From making Jay-Z a suit fit for a boss in the video for Feeling It, to transforming Busta Rhymes for his Grammy-nominated song, Put Your Hands Where My Eyes Can See. June collaborated with artists to create looks that built their personas. The thought process behind creating these outfits was just to be fashion forward thinkers. June, she always understood it when it came to me. I could tell June the most craziest thing in the world. Once, June will get a million things that will fit within that one thing that you gave her as an example. She's the Don of all Dons. June grew up in the Bronx, New York, where she studied theater in high school. Her background in costume design allowed her to understand its importance in character development, an approach that would guide her throughout her career. In the beginning, she designed the outfits herself because most fashion houses weren't willing to collaborate with hip hop artists. But as hip hop gained mainstream popularity, elements from her looks, like Diddy and Mace's shiny suits in the 1997 music video for Feel So Good, appeared on designer runways the following year. Today, June is the creative director of Puma, where she continues to influence style. The one thing about June is that she figured out how to be timeless. A time is great. There is nothing greater than June. So her impact on hip hop and fashion goes beyond anything that we could possibly describe in words. How amazing. We are so lucky to have you here today. I told Thank you, when you. you walked in, I went like this. <laughs> no, that watching that made me emotional. My, you know it, what did, I it made you emotional? Next year makes 30 years I've been in business, yeah. That's and you keep raising the bar, and even all those years ago, what I admired about you, each artist still looked, looked like an individual. Same mind, oh, yeah. but you were able to make each artist their own. How did you do that? Where did you get that inspiration from? You want to from? capture their artistic persona, but not have them abandon who they are. You know, the integrity of who they are as people really allows them to be the stars when you're building the look and the costumes around that. I just put, you know, looks to the lyrics. Looks I mean, to the lyrics. and by the way, looks to the lyrics that are iconic because all of us that grew up in the 80s and 90s yeah. can remember those looks from those music videos because it's all we watch. We had to be impactful. We mm. had to be intentional. Mm. I love punctuation. <laughs> <laughs> You know, one of the things that I read about you this morning, which I just delighted in and also was kind of in awe of, is that when you were dressing Diddy in that red suit, mm -hmm. which we saw and we all remember, he was like, I'm not into this. Oh, mm -hmm. no. I had to make two versions of those suits, by the way. Really? Yeah. I mean, Puff is very fashion forward and intuitive. But this particular thing, because he was in his hip hop artistic persona, not like the executive, because mm -hmm. he was an a yeah, and I know. So I had to really get him to understand this is a character, darling. Mm -hmm. And I used to come in like Edith Head with big glasses like Edna from The Incredibles. Mm -hmm. And I would be very like intentional, very forceful, very direct. And I said, I put my career on it. The shiny suit is it. So I made a leather version because he was like, I don't know about this lady. And then I made the metallic leather one. Mm -hmm. And when we saw the first take on camera, you knew. And he and game he on. Game said, on. and he said afterwards, I mean, first of all, it kind of so changed your career, but it, it, it shows that you're not scared of taking risks. No, I mean, I, I'm always very I tap into my AI all the time, my authentic intelligence, <laughs> which is the yeah. most important kind, yeah. by the way. Yeah, it's like when you're in the universe, you know, you want to. I trust my gut and I'm looking mm -hmm. to align with other stars and planets. And that's how I approach it. I'm very like methodical about it. I'm very I'm very intentional about it. It's too important. And we wanted to shift 
you know, the perspective of how people looked at hip-hop culture. So it's hip-hop culture. Mm, hip-hop culture. culture. So what does it yeah. feel like, or what did it feel like, and it continues, where you have this idea, you sketch it, you make it happen, and then you see it everywhere. Mm-hmm. Like Jay-Z's outfit, that suit, or the, mm-hmm. you know, the puffy suits, or the Missy Elliott video. Yeah. Like, people emulated it, they dressed like it, you see it on the runways. What does that feel like when you know it started in here? Well, I always go into jobs knowing that it's bigger than me, and it's not about me. Mm. And it's really about capturing the audience, influencing them, and still having the sense of relatability, you know, and that's like when you see that happening, when you see the culture kind of gravitating to things that are very aspirational, then you know you're doing something right in life. I planted so many seeds in the 90s that I'm now seeing come to fruition. It gives me it gives me pause. It makes it keeps me humble. It's it, it, at every turn. I'm so grateful for it. all of my celebrity muses. Do you do you feel like that, that little girl in the Bronx could have ever dreamed this? Yes. Would, you could. You could <laughs> I was so you rambunctious. It. I was so. Put Cautious. I was so curious. Mm-hmm. And my curiosity has really gotten me to where I am now. I'm always looking to learn something new, experience something new, and really make a difference in people's lives. And that's really my intention all along the way, was to celebrate who I think we ultimately are. We're all superstars mm-hmm. in our own right. You know, that confidence is what it's about. I'm like, wait, hold that thought. Yeah, she's Stay not right there. Her. So June is going to share the stories behind some of her most famous looks, including Beyonce, Missy Elliott, Janet Jackson, and so much more <laughs> right after this. Oh, so good. We are back with costume designer June Ambrose, who created some of the most iconic looks in hip hop from Jay-Z to Busta Rhymes right. to much, much more. So now she's going to share the stories behind some of her most memorable creations. This is a treat. I know. Yes, we feel like a- we're kind of living history okay. here. I love okay. talking shop. Let's start with Beyonce and Jay-Z. Okay. You um, helped with a video. We can't say, say the, the name. name. Right? <laughs> but remember, it was at the Louvre, and it was fab, and we all remember it. Uh-huh. Talk about these looks. That night at the museum. Ooh. I mean, it was wonderful. Beyonce stylist was with her. I had Jay, and we were literally like just coming together, look after look. We had like 10 looks in this video mm. and we spent the night there and I wanted something that was super you artistic. You spent the night in the museum? Oh, yeah. We came in right as it closed and we stayed till sun up the next day. Is that morning. like when they'll let the crews come in and yeah, do their exactly. thing? Exactly. I mean, I, wow. fe- I, I have a picture of myself in front of the Mona Lisa. Do you know how yeah. that is? I mean, look at like, this. Like it's in the middle of the night. Oh yeah. And it's such an iconic shot because Jay in his double breasted suit that yeah. had this beautiful, rich color palette. Who knew that, you know, it was going to be such an iconic moment, but the two of them complimenting uh-huh each other. It was such a great collaboration. But when we took our shirts off and started wearing suits with no shirts, yeah, totally. that moment happened in Jamaica when we were shooting content for the tour. And I remember when we did it, not only was it because it was hot, yeah. but it was so provocative and rogue. Yeah. And, you know, Jay was just he was in that energy. He was feeling like that Rasta kind of rude boy. I love it. Kind of. And it, it. every artist started saying, oh, is that what's going now? <laughs> I love but it. But we've been doing this from the inception. I've worked with Jay for almost 30 years now. And, you know, in terms of like from suits to button down shirts and jeans, just kind of really kind of taking that consumer and growing them. Mm. They're looking for us to lead them in that trendy way. It's true. So Let's cool. talk about Missy Elliott oh, yeah. in the video for the rain super duper fly. Uh, <laughs> what's the story behind? We remember this. Bl- I mean, how many t- even now, if I'm doing a rain remember this? suit, I'll be like, totally. You know I, mean? I love that people still talk about oh, this. Yeah. I love that this is a Halloween costume. I love that I was behind her in this shot, doing pumping what? her No, up. you were not. Oh, yeah. When I designed this suit, you know, it was my first time playing with, like, inner tubing and playing with something that was a little bit more, um, it had perf- had to have performance attitude. It was very tricky to produce. And, like, and I was taking luxury fabric and, you know, creating sportswear silhouettes. And, wow. and you know, and it was just difficult. The suit kept deflating. <laughs> and, and, and it worked to my benefit. So, like, because wow. it kind of had as movement. it deflated. It allowed her movement the to come shimmer, through, shimmer. Yeah. but I had to be bicycle too. We took it to the gas station. No, you did not. How else was I going to blow this up? And like, it was like, I didn't wow. think about any of this oh my as we were building this. Now, when you think about it, we do these music videos in five days when people have movies that they have yeah. two months to prep. Yeah. My jobs, I have the most six to seven days to prep a job wow. with big costumes and big ideas. It's not easy no. from inception of sketching it to putting it on the board to building it out and then... 
having you figure out all the kinks and fittings it's not a, it's a not a big window oh my gosh it's amazing okay um tell us about designing all these looks for Busta Rhymes and Janet Jackson oh this is one of my most favorite videos because not because it was the most expensive but this was a four million dollar music video wow was it and four million yeah it was a very expensive lot of CGI we did all of it on blue screen the post work was insane um I loved building this look for Busta for so many reasons because I had him in a cat suit first so we giggled the whole entire time because <laughs> of the silver foundation was like a cat suit and in the world of hip hop to really get an artist to play these characters I mean totally. he was like a little kid in a candy store <laughs> and all the pieces were modular and they were built and formed we had several fittings for this Janet stylist worked on her piece and built her look out based on me saying I want S&M I want it to be like really edgy mm -hmm. we wanted something the director Hype Williams was very specific about color mm -hmm. and we just had a, just a really great time working on this project but we couldn't see it because we were all on green screen mm -hmm. so when we finally saw the finished product it, it was just like magical delighted it took with a that. long time a lot of color correcting a lot of it was it was a big undertaking I had a big marching band in this video too yes so I remember I it remember do you remember that, the yeah. marching you know, band I'm sitting here staring at you because we're talking about the anniversary of hip-hop but you know what kudos to you and what yeah, you've totally. given and putting out into, put out into the universe and not Thank just you. for hip-hop but now for all of for culture, culture. because you. you've made some major changes I mean we talked about it, it in the piece it makes me very proud when you see the artists that are really you know today how they're really enjoying all of the fruit of the early yeah. artists you know the fact that we were able to lay that blueprint down mm. and give them creative license to feel free creatively yeah. it, it's it's a beautiful thing to see the high fashion design houses are embracing our totally. culture finally it right? wasn't like that in the beginning yeah. it's really nice to kind of see it all you know us all live in one world yeah. and one zeitgeist yeah, so it's nice well, thank be. you for being June here. oh thank you you're for iconic thank you when she came and sat on the couch I'm like can I stare at you let me I just, know let me just look at we're you. still by the way we go we've been cut but we're trying not to go to commercial because we want to go to the commercial so we can just stare okay yeah we have girl, girl crush. <laughs>